In this class, I'm going to show you an example of an information disclosure combined with an insecure access control, or in my opinion, broken access control, which will allow us to gain access to the admin page. As we do that, I'm also going to introduce you to the HTTP trace method and see how useful it is in understanding how the target application works and how it can help us with exploiting it and discovering bugs within it. So we have a normal application in here. As usual, the link is in the resources and you want to test every single functionality within it. But I know the bug is actually in the admin page. So if we go to the admin page, you will see you get an informative error message saying the interface is only available to local users. Even if you didn't get an informative error message like this and the admin page just simply didn't even load, didn't even ask you for a username and a password, that should trigger your curiosity or your bug hunter or hacker mentality that we spoke about. Because we want to understand how is it knowing that I'm not the admin and it's not letting me see anything. To try to understand how this page works, we're going to turn on our interceptor and we're going to load the admin page again. And when we do that, we can see we have a simple get request to the path that we are requesting, which is the admin. If you look at the values being sent, everything is fine. We look at the cookies and there's only a session cookie, so there's nothing weird. We look at the body parameters in here and there is nothing as well. So there's nothing that is being sent that would allow the web application to know that I'm not admin and to know that it shouldn't even show me login boxes. In such scenarios, I'd usually forward the packet to see if there is more data being sent. And sure enough, there is more data being sent. But again, if you analyze this data, you will not see anything useful. So we forward it again. And that's it. Simply the web application is saying, I'm not going to load for you because you're not admin. In that case, the next thing I would do is try to send the same request, but instead of get, so let me just send it now, instead of get in here, I would type trace. So, so far we saw post and get as HTTP methods to request paths within the target website. And another HTTP method that we can use is the trace method. The trace method is really useful in such scenarios because it helps us debug or understand how the target web application works. Because when we send a trace to the target web server, the target web server will respond by simply sending us back the request that we sent to it. This is very, very useful because it lets us understand whether the data that we sent to the server got modified at some stage. So in some cases, you send a request like so to the target server, but that request will pass through a number of points or nodes before it reaches the target server. And these points or nodes can actually modify the original request that you sent. For example, you started with this request, but the end result that the target web server receives could possibly contain extra headers and extra data. And the target web server might use this data to identify you or treat you differently. Therefore, when we use the trace method, the web server is going to send us back the request that it received after it got modified along with the modified headers and the modified data and will be able to read the request and compare it to the original request that we sent and see if there is any extra headers and if they are useful in any way. So we're going to go back to our example and we already modified the original get request and now we're sending a trace request to the admin we're going to forward the request and perfect. As you can see, we managed to download a text file. And if we open this text file, you will notice here at the bottom, we actually have an extra header called X custom IP authorization. So the original request that we sent contained all of this data, but somehow along the way, this particular header was modified and added to the target web server. And the IP that you see in here is actually my IP. So I can simply just go to Google and type my IP. And sure enough, it is the same IP that is being used to the web server.
So looking at this again and employing your hacker or bug hunter mentality, you can see that somewhere along the line, this header is being added along with your own IP and then the admin page is not loading. Therefore, the chances are the admin page is not loading for you because the web server knows that you're not the admin. So you should either try to put the admin's IP in here, so you're gonna have to try somehow to find the admin's IP, or you should simply replace this with a reference to the local IP. So 127.0.0.1 is one way of referencing the local host or the local IP of a computer. So right now we're just trying, we're doing a trial and error. We're not sure if this is gonna work. This is an educated guess. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to send this header and saying that we are a local user on the target computer. And hopefully based on this information, the web application is gonna think that we are the admin and we should be allowed to see the admin page. Now to send this, we're gonna copy all of this we're gonna close the page and I'm gonna turn off the interceptor for now. We're gonna to go to the options and we're gonna use the match and replace feature. So previously you saw how we can use it to match a certain string and replace it with something else. But right now we don't wanna match anything. We actually just want to add this text that we just copied to every single request. So we're gonna click on add and we're gonna leave the match empty and we're simply just gonna fill whatever we wanna add to the requests in the replace part. We're gonna click on okay, and we're gonna make sure that it is ticked, and that's it. Now we don't even need to have the interceptor on as I showed before, because Burp is automatically gonna add this rule to every packet that goes through it. So we're simply just gonna go and load the admin page again, and perfect, as you can see, the admin page loads for us because now the web application thinks that we are coming from the local computer, from the local host, because we're adding this extra header to every single request that is being sent. And in this header, we're saying that we are coming from the local computer because 127001 is a reference to the local computer, to the local host, and therefore the web application is thinking that we should have access to this page. Now again, as usual, once you're done with this, you wanna make sure that you either untick your rule or even remove it because you don't want it to be applied to every single request that gets sent. Now this is one example of where the trace method is useful, but you can use it in any other scenario when the web application is behaving in an unknown manner and you wanna debug that further and have a better understanding of how this web application is working.